Hey kids, welcome to Unifor Lesson 1, the theater exercise number 3. We have a choose your own adventure. I am going to do the emoji images for this one, not really too much into sports ball, but all of these lessons really have the same solution. Let's jump in. We are going to draw images in the asset manager in our scene. In ImageScene.java, we're going to write the method CreateScene to draw the images in the scene. You choose where you want to draw the images and the size of your image. Try using the pause or clear methods to turn your scene into an animation. Add a pause after drawing each image or after drawing a set of images. Use the clear method to clear the scene before drawing another image if you don't want the previous image to still display in the scene. You can use one or both of the following methods in the scene class to draw images. And here's how we input a image. In my theater, we're going to instantiate an image scene object with the emojis array. We're going to call the create scene method on our image scene object, and we're going to use the theater play scene 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 to play our scene. Let's take a look at the code real quick. In my theater, looks like we have four images here. And if we go to manage assets, those are those four images are right there. In image scene, we're importing our theater. We are extending the scene class. We have one private array string images. That's the array of images from the theater class. We have one constructor. It is the images. And then we have to do our create scene. Before we start this lesson, kids, I have a short video on understanding the grid. I highly encourage you to watch that. Link will be in the description. And once you understand the grid system, this is going to be no different than the My Painter exercises we did in Unit 1. So instead of painting, we want to make images. If you look at our UML, we have a method to do that draw images. Remember, there is two ways that we can call an image. We can call it by the name or by the file type. And that's key here. And if I just copy that UML and paste it in, I can work from there. I'm going to draw an image. What image do I want to draw? Remember, I have a array here, images. I can just call that image, right? We learned from before for in an array, we can just call the index that it's at for the first one. Well, let's just call the index at zero. Well, that's it. That calls the first emoji from my theater. I'm going to start off with size. I want a pretty good size here, a hundred and emoji is going to be a circle. A hundred is probably going to be a fairly decent size. For doing that, our X and Y, you remember we start at 0, 0, and down here is 400, 400. We can't go outside the theater or won't print. That means we probably want to start down a little. I'm going to go diagonally down my theater here. That means I'm going to start off somewhere around 50, 50. Let's test this out before we get too far. Let's go to my theater. If we go down here, it gives us all the instructions we need to do. We need to instantiate an image scene object. That means image scene. And we'll call it my scene. And that's going to equal a new image scene. What do we want to pass along? We want to pass along our emojis array. Now we have to create our scene. That is just going to be my scene, create scene. Then we have to play the scene. And that is going to be theater play scenes and then what scene do we want to play well that my scene object we just created let's make sure my scene spelled right 
and image scene. That looks pretty good. When I hit run, I should get the laughing emoji. That's this one right here to pop up in my top left hand corner. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. Hey, we did. I don't think I'm going to get all four to fit all the way down. Let's print them off in a grid. So we'll have zero, one, two, three print off that way. Let's finish it off. We're going to use the pause method here to pause in between each drawing to give it a little animation look. Now all we have to do is draw the rest of the images. Again, hardest part of this, just understanding where on the grid you want it. We're going to do the draw image method. We're going to do images again. This time the index is going to be one. And our X and Y location, this time we don't want it at 50, 50 here. Let's move it over to 250. We don't want to move the Y. So 250, still want the 100 for the size. We're going to pause again here for 0 0.5 seconds. Ooh, I see my error up here. That's two, two more to go. We got a draw image. We're going to go to the images index number two. Now, now I want my X to stay at 50. I want my Y to be 200. So we're going to go 50, 200 and a hundred again. We're going to pause for another 0 0.5 seconds. One more. Draw image. We got images. This time we're at three. And this time we're going to be at 200. 200. Still want our size at 100. Don't need a pause this time. Now when I hit run, we should get an emoji here, 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 and here all four of our array emojis. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. Hey, good job. Our emojis popped up pretty good. Key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is understanding the grid in a theater system and how the size of an object also affects the location of the object. Again, I would encourage you to watch my short video on the grid system. Finally, kids, it's just understanding the UML, what is there, what we can call, and how we can call it. In this exercise, we drew images from an array. That array was made up of assets we loaded up. In this exercise, it just so happened to be emojis. It could be whatever you want. That could have been your favorite sports teams, favorite numbers, or even pictures of you. Again, I'm going to keep saying this. The theater exercises, kids, are no different than the My Painter exercises you were doing in Unit 1. Instead of using their objects, you're just creating your own now. And that's pretty awesome. Hopefully, this video helped you understand the theater a little better. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye. Bye.